Okay, so before starting this lesson, I just want to let you know that this lesson is coming from this book. And this is Microsoft's number one selling Excel book. And they asked Dr. Winston to write it. And the reason I'm telling you this isn't to buy the book. The content's free. Like we're, we're posting YouTube videos, right? It's more to let you know that you're getting a, a world-class education if you just watch the content. If the video's there, just watch the whole thing. And if you have any questions, just let us know. We're more than happy to help. The only requirement, if I answer the question like Dr. Winston does, is that we can make the video so more people can, um, can watch it, right? So we can have the solution for you guys and girls, and then we can post it to where other people can find it valuable. And again, uh, underneath in the description, there are going to be the start files and the ending files, meaning you can download them. No email, you, can, you don't need anything. Just click on the link, you'll automatically download the files and you can follow along and you can um, have the formulas in your spreadsheet or in um, Dr. Winston's spreadsheet. And then we do offer a free 21 day course. Again, the link is in the description or you can go to um, excelwithwayne.com slash uh, free. And so yeah, but uh, again, if you do like this video, if you could comment and if you could like it and subscribe, and the reason for this is not just to be notified because you will every time we post a video and we're trying to post, I don't know, we're trying to do three a week, but I'm gonna start making content as well and we should hopefully be able to do one a day. And, um, and so yeah, but also the bigger benefit is that if you think the content is valuable, then by liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel, um, more people will see it. The algorithm of YouTube will push the, the video to more people. And so we just want to make sure that we can reach as many people as we want. It's free. It's YouTube, right? So like the content is there. And so we hope you find it valuable. And again, if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment and um, I'll be monitoring it. And I'm more than happy to help, more than happy to answer. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Oftentimes with data, you want to be able to filter quickly based on date. Doing so will help you get insights faster and help you save time with your day-to-day -day task. Knowing slicers in Excel is valuable for quickly analyzing data and being able to filter quickly. Doing so will not only save you time, but will also make you the office expert. Dr. Winston shows how to slice data using the timeline feature in Excel. He shows how to create a pivot table and insert a timeline. Okay, in this video, we're going to teach you about the great timeline timeline feature in Excel 2013. Okay, so basically, this is a slicer for time. We talked about slicers in our chip example. You need, need a date field in your data. In other words, you have to have actual dates. So let's look at an example here of how a timeline slicer works. So here we have people selling makeup. I based this on my daughter Jen and her friends in seventh grade. We have the dates they sold makeup. So this is the actual date field. You need that. The product they sold, lip gloss, eyeliner, foundation, the number of units and number of dollars. Okay, so let's do a normal pivot table to show what every uh, woman sold of each product. Uh, let's just do dollars. So I can do insert, pivot table, got my data. Okay, so I'm going to do product here, the name of the woman here, and let's say dollars here. All right. Okay. So, for instance, Ashley of Eyeliner sold 58.44, etc. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do is put in a timeline. So I do insert, if you have Excel 2013, which I'm sure at Microsoft everybody has. We've done slicers, but here's timeline. Okay, so you base it on the date field. You might have more than one date field, so you might have to select which column, but date there. And now look how cool this is. Okay, so I can do months, years, quarters, months, or days. So if I do quarters here, they have to be contiguous. In other words, you'd have to use the shift key here, but if I go here 2004Q1, now my totals are for 2004Q1 through 2005Q1. I could go months, so I could say, let's say March 2004, I don't know, through September 2004, and my totals are for that. This is so cool. So you can go to a presentation with your pivot table based on your entire 
timeline of data and then if the boss asks about any particular subset of time you can pull up the figures instantly and really impress him or her and of course you can clear the filter all periods but we'll leave it let me leave it here with just something like this so we have that well that's it for timeline feature it's very simple okay but you rem remember you have to have a date field but that's really all you need to know about the timeline feature and it's a slicer for time so tell your friends about it all right so now that you watch the video you know we hope you like this stuff i mean we're going to be posting a lot of content hopefully um the goal is to do two to three of dr winston's videos a week and then three to four um, or five you know the goal is one a day so seven of me producing uh, content or me answering questions, you know, from people and stuff like that. I mean, you, you guys probably don't know me and girls, uh, but I'm an alumni of Dr. Winston's. I am a consultant in Excel. I, you know, I do this stuff for a living. And so, yeah, if you have any questions on this or in general, leave a comment, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Uh, not, not so much just so you get a update, but more because... You know, if you think this video is good or you like the content and you think other people will like the content as you like and as you comment and as you subscribe, uh, YouTube, the algorithm is going to push this to other people. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be on their homepage, you know, people searches and stuff like that. And so our goal is to get this content out, you know, to as many people as possible. I mean, it's free, um, but it's really, really good. Um, I am an alumni, again, of Dr. Winston's and I can personally, you know, vouch for it. Uh, because I, I, I was in his classes. I took all of his classes. I took his marketing analytics. I took uh, his data modeling classes, stats classes, financial anal analytics class. Like I've done it all. And it's just amazing content. And the challenge with YouTube is there's not in-depth content as to where with this. You have really, really in-depth content. And so yeah, any questions, let me know. Leave a comment and I'll be there to help. Thanks.